if you want to commentate, yeah, if you want to comment, yeah, like, commentate, commentate like, Tolkien, we have the open mic. Oh, we got commentating. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 Mic check. Mic check, mic check. Okay, the level should be good. Uh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, or oh, welcome. We are out here at Nightlight. This is the $50 mid-off between Vaniki and Lucky. Y'all want to split it with headphones? Y'all just want to hear me commentate? You'll be good? Okay. All right, so anyway. If I do need split Okay. So. I will be right back. I'll give you the dollar after. Okay. It sounds it sounds pretty good from what I can Oh, yeah. uh, water, do some, uh, <laughs> some tests. Uh, just check. Okay, mic check, mic check. Um, I adjusted the levels. It should be good now. H how does it sound? Mic check, one, two. Okay, it's good. He sound? Okay, sick. Oh, actually, actually a little bit lower. <laughs> a little bit lower for what? For the mic. The mic? Okay. Yeah. Just give the nice lady a dollar outfit. How about now? Oh, let's do a How about that? There we go. There's no clipping now. Let me know if that's good. Mic check. Mic check, one, two. That sounds pretty fun. It's, it's, it's like, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, sick. All right, we're hopping into game one. Um, right off the bat, uh, this is Wolf versus Pac-Man. Uh, luckily, he's acknowledged this to be a bad match for Pac-Man, but he's saying he's got the skill check. He's got the matchup check. At least this, at least this, this like, matchup-wise is not as bad as... Uh, Oh, what, what was that one? Like, Yez versus uh, Aaron? That was like minus five. Yeah, Yez versus Aaron? Oh, that's nonsense. I would never agree to that. A, he's going to get a better player, and B, it's actually the minus I think he's like actually like bottom up. Yep. All right, we are hopping into game one. I'm going to load that potato. What do you mean by that? All right, we got Wolf versus Pac-Man. Vaniki starting Sorry. off with a little bit of lasers. Obviously, uh, Pac-Man, you know, naturally a character with a little bit of defensive potential. Wolf, you know, a little bit of a mid-range, um, mid-style, you know, very flexible. Uh, offense, defense. Okay, nice combination of uh, Lucky getting that key straight into the hydrant. Lucky off to a good start in terms of damage lead, but, you know, this is the very beginning of the first game. Doesn't mean a lot, and Wolf has incredibly explosive potential when it comes to starting damage. Okay, gets in there, into the dash attack. Dude, Looks for the jump read there. Attack on a laser, and Vaniki has taken the percent lead. All right, and once again, this is a lot of this is about the slow game. How are you going to deal? Yep, got to watch for that. Gets hit by the key. Second key to connect. We're two for two. Okay, double forward air, evening up the percents. I think whoever gets the first stop will really set the tone here. Pac-Man, obviously character notorious for his defense. When he's up a stock, really powerful ability snowball. The the bell is on deck. Obviously, the, the forward smash with the same power as Roy's. Really strong nair coming out from Vaniki. But get hit by the bell once, it could be over, depending on where you are on stage. Dude, this game is, like, pretty insane. Oh, wow. Hits him through the stage there. Nah, okay, forward tilt connecting. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> For real? Okay. Good parry on that. <laughs> Gets the ground. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh, Vinny going for something cute there. Not quite able to connect with an air. Okay. Tacking on additional damage. Let's see what throw he goes for. Doesn't opt for the throw here. He does refresh all his moves at least. Yo, he is final smashing the fuck out of him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf it. 
percent deficit here. You gotta be careful. This the bell is on deck. Okay, what is he up for? Goes for the back throw, not able to connect cross stage. I know. Goes for the reflector read on the hydrant. Lucky smarter than that this time. Gotta watch for the hydrant. Okay. Throws the orange at him. Get your vitamin C, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, interesting. Uh, back air into that short off air dodge. Yeah, and that won't do it. Yeah, and not quite enough. You know, all the way across stage. This first stock is taken. Oh, uh, wow. There we go. The first stock finally collecting. We're at a two and a half like, minutes. I can't afford this 50 bucks. Now, now, the real question is, what is uh, Vinicky able to do to turn this stock? Nope, looks like nothing. We are zero, zero for second stock. We are absolutely taking our time here. He's got the Galaga on deck. He goes for the grab. Not able to turn that into damage. Solid defense coming out from Lucky. It's very much going to be a battle of endurance. After all, this is a first to five. So regardless of what we see right now, if either player gets impatient, Later into the set, it really could pan out not good for them. And then connecting that uh, bell into the forward smash. Why do I recognize that? Nice pickup there. I actually really like that. It looks so similar to a certain game. Yeah, not quite able to get that bell to connect, but. Gets that down air. Uh, not quite able to connect to the sweet spot there. Oh, comes out with the down smash there, and uh, Lucky is able to get the first stock on this second two to two situation. Connects the Galaga combo, DI's the forward and down and away. I love both of these players, bro. And yeah, Lucky is snowballing on the second stock. Off to a good start here, 67%. Not quite a kill percent yet, so we can afford to tackle a little more damage. Does take a hit from the back air. Goes for the high recovery here. This dude can't be! Which one, bro? Which one? Probably the one that's winning. All right, and Lucky, once again, 67. Definitely not impossible to come back, but you know, the further the percent gets, the harder it gets to bring these back, and there always is the threat of the timeout. We look. All right. Nice side be there. No way, dude. More songs. Gets the back throw. Ooh, good pressure coming out, but not quite able to reflect that. So lucky off to a good start, game one. I'm not familiar with the game you're playing right now, but I, but I like. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Keep going. I know what you're. I know what you're doing. He saw like the uh, packed the uh, Iron Force like that. You ready for this? Uh, not that. I, I know. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, it is what it is. Well, awesome. Someone's got it. Someone has to do it. Uh, oh yeah, that's my boy. Smashville. So we're heading into game two now. And it uh, looks like uh, after dropping the bands, uh, Vinicius is opting for small battlefield. Maybe looking for a little bit less space here. Pac-Man naturally a little more defensive character. Uh, corner him a little bit, see how that pans out. That's what I'm saying, dude! If you want to be a pro gamer, you gotta look the part, bro. No, he got picked up You don't understand, bro. You don't get it. Loki me today, bro. And yeah, Pac-Man dash attack very safe. Good damage coming out from Nikki there. It's me against Mim. Gets the dash attack. Able to contest with these Pac-Man aerials. Very strong. Good defense coming out.
Oh, true story. I can update that. I'm sorry. Okay, cool. It's just the, uh, the it's score right and then score left. Yeah, you said that. Oh, there it is. Okay, gotcha. Okay, thanks. All right, Vinicky off to a good start here. Taking a little bit of damage there. Into the jab lock, into the, the fruit. I'm a scare without a scare. Maniki applying some ledge pressure. Lucky not quite biting. Uh, mascara. Uh, no, what, uh, yeah, but wait, what'd you say? Oh, uh, mascara. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Lila? What's up? Tech chase situation there. Good tech chase coming out from Lucky there. Um, Gets the grab. Into the dash stack, okay. I need to wait for Ikea to pay. And that forward tilt will do it. Um, really oh, solid okay. first stock here from Maniki. Um, a lot uh, earlier pace, so it looks like the counter pick so far has paid off. The question is, though, how much damage can he actually collect? Uh, really great tech chase there, Reed, coming out from Lucky. The bell coming out. Oh, love that Z drop into it, but uh, luckily, um, Maniki ready for it, doing his homework. Yeah, that's why, that's because he didn't use my voice. Nice connection there. Getting that extra, the extra damage has been worth it so far. It's 4-8. Four, four oh, 4 there into the side B. Oh, wow, a cute little reversal there. Good recovery from Niki, very patient. And into the back, very explosive. We got a 3-1 to one stock deficit now. That'll do it, though, if anything, Will. Well, in the forward smash, tried into classic coming out from Pac-Man. Dude, Big damage coming out from the Pac-Man combo. Ooh, big damage coming out from Lucky. Can he keep it going? He's still at zero. He hasn't taken any damage. Lucky's anti-laser defense has been superb so far. Not taking a lot of damage. Oh, wow, really great roll there coming out from Niki. Can he snowball this? After all, he was at a three to one stock deficit. Nice damage there. Love the simple combination. No need to get crazy. Oh, goes for the spike there. Good DI out from Lucky. Oh, another forward air into the side B. Vinicky collecting a lot of damage off of those. Great grab pressure coming out. Okay, of course Pac-Man, recovery, no problem. Usually able to come back from those. D good text. No problem. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I was like, no problem. Okay, manages to reflect the, oh, and it doesn't come back down, that's really funny. Yeah, great counterplay there. Nice uh, one frame coming out there on the forward tilt. Great defense. Goes for the up smash at shield. A little bit of interesting mix there. It's not a gimmick if it works. Up smash right now. Oh, okay. Lucky coming out from the defense here. Of course, Maniki in really good shape right now. Already lapped him on the second stock. Kill with shine. I know T's terrified. He is pulling out all the recovery stalls. Lucky clawing his way on the stock, but he's got a long way to go. Oh, wow. Doesn't miss time. Doesn't time it. So we will even it up. A two stock to return a two stock. We are in good shape for Maniki. We are 1 1. We have got a long way to go, though. Can somebody give him the picture of the stage? Oh, yeah, I got you. All right, you need flow. Good. I'll ban Fifty dollars on the line here. Four more games per player, so we got a long way to go. What? <laughs> All right, we're hopping into game three. One game apiece. 
I'm going to show you. back to PS2. Um, very interesting. Uh, Vinicky did not have to ban this. Um, he did uh, lose here game one. So I guess um, he decided to throw more... Uh, more important stages to prioritize. Maybe thinking that the adaptations he's made to Lucky's playstyle will benefit him this time around. Yeah, he got banned. Oh, a lot of left hand score. Yeah. Oh yeah, true story. I thought this was like a whole guy's Oh, okay. Oh wow, great down smash coming off of Niki. Percents are tied up, but Niki does have the positional advantage right now. Great backer coming out, very explosive, able to take that first stock. Vinicky um, off to a very good start here, showing a very different game than uh, we saw game one on PS2. But the question is, can he turn this into more damage? Big Pac-Man boot coming out. One of the most underrated forward tilts in the entire game. Yep. Those, those keys into the hydrant uh, paid a lot of dividends for Lucky Game 1. Wow, really good um, forward tilt coming out from Lucky, but uh, love that. Okay, watches for the key. Good self-awareness. Into the reflector, and funny enough, the reflector doesn't always return these fruits. Why would you uh, with a 20% credit. Let's see what else he's able to get. Into the back here, very nice here, 41%. When it comes to these stock leads, you want to snowball as much as possible. Let's see what Vidiki's able to get. Not able to make the connect. Looks for the down B instead of the back air. Oh, great nair there. Uh, nice middle ground between deciding to reflect it. Oh, okay. Back air tech chase there. Okay, nice up smash. Wow, up smash into the hydrant there, by the way. Getting a little extra knockback there. Maybe a little bit of a DI mix up, too. That was a little interesting knockback. Okay, big damage coming out from Lucky here. Looking for the, air, the forward smash read there. Vinicky not able to get the up smash. Lucky can still close this out. Okay, Vinicky going to take some free damage there. Good patience from Vinicky. Can he collect as much credit as he did on the last stock? <laughs> cool little footstool there, getting away out of the pressure. Up smash coming out from Lucky. Good jump read, recognizing the vertical habits. Oh, insane grab. Oh, okay, gets a tech chase. Too much rage to be able to connect that uh, down throw into forward air. Lucky slowly clawing his way back, but there is a little bit of deficit here. <laughs> Extra laser damage being tacked on there from Viniki. Okay. And the four tilt. Vidiki looking for the hard read there. Why not? Good downer coming up. Not quite enough to seal out the stock. Nothing, bro. You like roll Wow, good defense there. Vidiki not even opting for the punish, saying, you know, I'll take center stage. I need to win this game. It doesn't matter if I get that punish. I'm not sitting on your left. Nice. Able to knock that. You're not telling me I'm a gay ass, bro. You are not telling me that, bro. Knock that bell out. Okay. Vinicky's still in good shape right now. What? Downer coming out. Not going to seal the stock from center stage. The bell coming out. Good defense from Vinicky, taking his time. Employing a little bit of the same tactics Lucky actually employed game one, to be honest. Doing a really good job of snowballing this lead. Forward air over the fruit, into the blazer. He is at 186%. He is doing a great job so far, snowballing this lead. And that back air will do it. Yep, that'll do it. The stronger move in the trade equation. Vinicky pulling up. Always making a strong statement, winning on the stage you previously lost on. The question is, uh, what will uh, Lucky opt for for the counter pick? Yeah. 
pop it into game three, game yeah. three, game four. It uh, looks like uh, Lucky opting for the same strategy, saying once again, uh, I did win on PS2 g one game one. Last game was a little bit of a fluke. You know, maybe I have to get the first kill. Uh, it is what it is. We're running it back. All right. Nice double jump there. Able to tack on that uh, additional hydrant damage as well. The Gallagher coming out. Om nom nom, chomp chomp chomp, good parry. Looking for the tech roll mix up there, but just gets clipped. Big damage coming out from double forward there. Come on, Lucky. Able to dodge that. Oh, wow, the, the water works. Lucky off to a good start, and unfortunately, Vaniki SD in there, a little bit too low for that horizontal angle. <laughs> The question is, can Lucky snowball this lead? What can he turn this into? Gets that weak nair into the dash attack. Wow, and the forward smash coming out. Able to collect zero extra credit on the second stock. Much, very different narrative from that first game. The first game, obviously very long. A lot of uh, feeling each other out. It looks like the gameplay is adapted and sped up a lot. Really great landing punish there for coming out from Nikki. Up to the optimal up air over the forward air. I would have just forward aired. Eight percent to seventy-eight percent into the nair, into the dash grab, into the forward throw. Beniki off to a really good start, able to quickly even out the game, and not just that, I'm um, roll on the second stock. So he is really doing a lot of work. The bell comes out. Ooh, into the forward smash. Ops for a higher uh, a B that time. Oop. Solid ledge trap coming out from Lucky. Okay, keeps it going. Let's get a little bit fruity out here. Into the down smash. Great up smash coming out. It's the first one we've seen to connect draw like that since that uh, end of that third game. Maniki at 74%. Gets a down throw, dash stack, forward tilt, standard com wolf combo. Can find it in the kitchen of every wolf player. Into the double jump read. Goes for the back air, love that actually. Hit him out of his double jump and going for the connection. Good defense coming out from Lucky. In the forward air, into the nair. It's great control coming out from Maniki. Ooh, and that extra hit lag there actually doing him in. Okay, into the big damage there. Nice combination there, the nair into the up air. A little bit of different spin on it than you uh, usually see. Oh, wow, that, yeah, actually really optimal. He got side switched, but still really good damage there. And he down tilts the, oh, wow, into the hydrant, and that'll do it. Vidiki is cooking right now. We are at, got a 3-1 lead. The question is, uh, does Lucky stick with the counter pick or does he opt for something different? Looks like he's opting for Kalos Pokemon League. Very much different game here. Pac-Man uh, can utilize platforms in order to uh, get additional vertical, but um, maybe the lack of platforms could um, also help Pac-Man out in some ways. Uh, character I'm not super familiar with. Uh, side platforms also provide a little bit of flavor when it comes to the edge guarding and the ledge trapping. Maybe saying, uh, I want to recover more easily, get back to center stage, start my game plan. Love that angle forward tilt, get the additional damage. Om um, nom nom coming out, waka waka, you love to see it. Coming out with up smash, not able to connect. Double footstool there. Down smash coming out, nice pressure there. Oh yeah, and as I mentioned, looks like he's opting to use those high platforms, create a little bit of pressure. Oh, sorry, create a little bit of um, buffer for his defense. So that when he gets pushed to the corner, it doesn't necessarily impede his ability to be defensive. Yeah, so this is the strategy. The question is, what is Vaniki going to do about it? Okay, not able to connect there. Pac-Man's uh, tether crab rather safe, you know, for a tether grab. Big damage coming out. Oh, gets the tether grab. Oh, pops him out of it. Double jump still on deck. Oh, wow, goes for the, yeah, opting for that direct down, gets forward smashed. Cracks the raw down smash afterwards. Going for that two frame down smash. Uh, up is directly into the backer though. 
All right, Ford, Ford. Gets that up throw combination. Goes for the down smash, gets a little additional sh shield stun there and pushback. Reflects the, I don't even know what fruit that is, I'll be real. Okay, so Lucky snowballing a little bit. Game is a little bit uh, reminiscent of um, game one right now. Though at a much higher pace, this this time uh, game one, um, only one stock had been, no, one stock had not even been taken. Goes for the down smash. Nice to have that uh, one move option when it comes to. It's crazy that I've seen Andrew make crazier comebacks. Goes for the back throw. Not going to do it on Pac Man. A little bit of a heavier boy. Oh wow, that was a I, that was a really good presence of mind of Aniki to shield that. Gets the back throw. Let's chop shenanigans coming out from Pac Man. Nice jab there coming out. Able to interrupt that grab. <laughs> Getting on the board would be really good for Lucky right now. Obviously, an almost entire stock lead here. Okay, weak narrow, that'll do it. 111%. Can Viniki get some credit here? He doesn't have to take the stock first, but he does need to get as much damage as possible. Z drop coming out. Good air dodge. Slippery defense coming out from Viniki. Able to get up back on stage, but can he get the damage? Only 11% credit. Oh, yeah, able to grab the bell. And the Hydra coming out, not able enough, enough to take stock. Okay. The Rage almost uh, negating that combo there. It looks like Lucky actually jumped into it. Oh, my God. You know how much the crowd loves wave dashes. 47%. Okay, Vaniki in pretty good shape. Big damage coming out from Vaniki. Slowly clawing their way back. Able to get above that grab. All right, what do we got? Lucky once again still in a good spot, but he does need to take the stock. The apple will do it. All right, 91 percent though is a lot to claw back given the deficit. The question is how much lucky damage can Lucky tack on here? Yep, here we go. Big damage coming out. Looks for the. Big damage coming out from the up air. Double up air. Down, down, near coming out, but not safe on shield enough. Oh, Ooh, into the forward smash goes raw. 75% credit. To be fair, he made up a lot more damage than this last stock. Oh, that'll do it. Oh my god. Yikes. That was explosive, man. A little bit of a reversal on the Pac-Man damage there. Very much giving Lucky a taste of his own medicine. But can he turn this into a game? That's all that matters for both players right now. The difference between... I will be real. This is the... Oh, that will do it. I will be real, that was the most important game. The difference between a 4-1 and a 3-2 is a massive, absolutely massive. No, that's just, that's just his analysis, bro. That's commentary. That's just factual. What? I can be unbiased? You don't know me? Uh, anyway, so. No, I said important. What set count? What set count? Oh, my God. Yeah, most important game. Obviously, difference between 4-1 and 3-2 is massive. So we're hopping into game four. Game, no, sorry, game six. Um, Viniki opting for the small battlefield that treated him so well game two. 
<laughs> All right, the question is, can he re resurrect some of that game two energy? I like the way Vinicius taking his time, not necessarily opting for every single punish. <laughs> Big damage coming out from Lucky. Oh, huge combination coming out. Like the way he waited for that second hit too. 89 to zero right now. Okay, 14 percent. Cute little beer verse there. Yo, the music. Big damage coming out there. That was the little flash combo, actually. Big damage coming out. Ooh, end of the down smash. Vinicky clawing their way back. Ooh, end of the double. Why not? Do it once. Do it again. Excellent coming out from Vinicky there. Not going to lie. Big damage coming out. Big damage coming out there from the shield punish. Vinicky taking their time once again. Let's gather around the kid bar. Ooh, and great tech coming out. They're singing the um, the campfire. I don't know what the fuck they're singing. Uh, Fifty-five percent. Vinicky in good shape, trying to replicate that same magic from game two. Game two. Into the scoop. There we go. Big damage coming out. Yeah, he already took that. Stuffs the Waka Waka. Vinicky in good shape right now. 109. Ooh, and that'll do it. Yep. Gets tossed. Everyone gets one. Oh, doesn't believe in the reflector and the forward smash. Big damage coming out from Lucky. Wow, he dodged. Oh, that was cute. Into the up throw. Jump scare. <laughs> Big damage coming up from down there. Lucky clawing his way back here. Vinicky had a solid start on this stock, but um. Oh, excellent! They're coming up, Vinicky. Very smart. That's the thing about use of reflector in this game. You got to be judicious. You can't be greedy. Pac-Man is not a true zoner, but you pick the right reflector situation, you can really get some big damage. Oh, opto oh, into more damage. That's not even it. Big damage. That'll do it. Not able to get that full hop though. Let's just gonna second up here, but does it matter when you're up a stock? Big damage. Gets that four. Say four there. Minus four on shield. Minus five. <laughs> All right, attacking on some just a laser damage there. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, okay. That was solid trap there coming out from Lucky. Oh, great. Oh, I love that. That chase down. Interesting. Okay. The rarely seen. Oh, great parrot. Taking advantage of the no lag on Wolf back at the auto cancel window. Yeah, Pac-Man can punish them. We tech out of that. That's insane that he's Goes for the reflector. Oh, wow, 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 wow. They're looking for the soul read out here. Good pressure there, you know, alleviating some of that. Gets lights trumped once. Oh, he waited him out. He was tied up. All right, 44% to 118. Obviously, big lead from Vinicky, but we've seen more than a handful of comebacks during this set. The explosive power of Pac-Man is nothing to be messed with. What do they got? Oh, great turn. Great pressure. Vinicky very much unafraid there. Attacking on more damage. 165. Wolf has got an entire arsenal of kill moves. That's it. That'll do it. And Vinicky taking it at 4-2. As I mentioned, you know, winning that 4-2. Uh, yeah, winning that that fifth game would have been huge. Like I said, going up 4-1 versus 3-2 is huge, but Vinicky has managed to widen the gap once again. Thank <laughs> you.
Alright, nice right, we're hopping into what is potentially the last game. It is up to Lucky to claw his way back. Obviously. <laughs> We're looking at the equivalent of a reverse 3-0 if Lucky pulls this off, so it all starts with one game, though. Opting for the Kalos pick, they treated him so well. Um, last Kalos pick, Vidiki did SD, but can Lucky get the first stock and then replicate that same magic? Forwarder, forwarder. Okay, love that. Okay, a little bit of optimal combo there. So you have to Big shield damage coming, pressure coming out there. Oh wow, great frame trap there coming out from Vaniki. Nair coming out. Great pressure coming out. Not able to connect that grab. It's four frames versus the and has bigger range of combos. Are you busy? I'm trying to get much better. And the same. Well, I mean, yeah, I was going to say, like, Legion starts out like Legion Rising. He's so fast. No, I don't think we need out of shit. I bet just, like, he doesn't even think. It's so annoying that all of Pac-Man's combos are, like, just barely true. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not like those are, like, they're, like, Are able to get the grab. Really good there to... Not be afraid of the lemon. Oh wow, it goes for the Z drop there instead. Actually a pretty creative way to address that landing situation. Not resorting to the hydrant. Trying trying to mix it up, not be predictable. Okay. Game is relatively relatively even. Wow, Get, just barely getting over that. Great down shield coming from Lucky. A cute little down tilt there. Get the Hydrant going the opposite way. Good pressure coming out. Game is relatively even. First stock is shown to be incredibly influential in who wins the game. I might go as far as saying every single game the first stock has won except for... Um, I think every single guy, yeah, and that will do it. Uh, Vaniki is able to see off the first stock. Waka 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 coming out, getting that dash attack damage. Okay, able to get the connection. 169%. Ooh, into the th Ooh, that was kind of sick. Throws him into the bell. Vidiki's slowly pawing ahead, but obviously relatively even matchup here. Charging it all the way up, why not? If it hits, that'll probably do it, let's be honest. Wolf has got the that cracked attack. Lucky is so scared. Oh my god. Y'all see that? Hold on, you'll see that slingshot? That was wrong. Ooh, okay. Coming off the ledge of the reflector. Good pressure coming out from Niki. Not able to get that dash grab. I will say this, um, during these mutual landings, Vaniki has been beating Lucky to a lot of the punches. Another key coming out. All right, we got the bell on deck. No, it's kidding, through the bell. The stronger fruits start to come out. Guys, isn't, isn't that a cake? Is that actually a bell? It's a bell, yeah. It's a bell. Bro, it's a cake. Like, is that canon? Like, we know for sure? Yes, it is a bell. Okay. Bro, cake's the bell. Oh, lucky. Lucky. All right, and Vaniki able to see out that yes, sock. Yes, no, you're supposed to back here. Cake's the bell. Hey, no, it's a coach. Make that coach, you guys. 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 Make that coach, you
And we know the vibes. Baniki chucking some plasma right now. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Yo, McDaniel you wouldn't have hey, lost that. Man. He can drop that. <laughs> Oh wow! Drops that on reflector right before. Everyone's a McFaniel. Oh, oh, not quite able to connect on that. Ooh, solid extra damage coming out from Maniki. Good use of versatility coming out. You are so funny. Joe's doing the meme. He's doing the search. 55% is by no means an insurmountable lead. But, um, oh, actually, that second time that I'll be, oh, wow, into the hydrant. Oh, okay. A little bit of a super wave dash there. That'll do it. All right, 78%. Is that what you're no, saying? Yeah, he's okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Uh, Typically, when you win, you're supposed to fall back, but. <laughs> no, Pac-Man doesn't need to, though. That's just Pac-Man. Hey, we are under a minute, baby. Does Bro know how to play aggro? Yeah, we got one minute left. Yeah, so to so 118% so deficit. Yo, you got the Pac-Man to punish you again? You don't got it. Hey, you can't change her out. That's what you Yeah, Bro is going for the grabs right now. Yo, what's up, bro? Lucky's slowly clawing his way back into this game. Oh, the pressure! The pressure is coming out from Lucky. Okay, nice uh, edge guard coming out there. Oh, that might be it. And that back throw will do it. Yes, sir. We got a 5 2. Vaniki favor. Shout out to Vaniki. Uh, getting himself a crisp. Andrew Grant. No, not Grant. Um, anyway, crisp for $50 bill. Congrats to Vaniki.